Hello, I'm Thomas Schreiner, the Lean Farmer, and welcome to Farming Outside the Box. Today we're going to talk about chicken tractors. We've made a video on that before, and we've had a lot of people ask questions about the chicken tractor. Uh, we call it a lean chicken coop. They've been around for a couple hundred years, but the reason why they're so successful and so well liked is because they do have lean tendencies or lean characteristics. You can find tons of information on the internet, lots of diagrams and pictures, but we're going to show you four or so of our designs and then I will point out all the things that don't work very well and uh, we'll point out some of the things that do work well and that way when you build one you can have a better chance of having a successful time building it. And then I would ask that if you actually do build one we would love to see a video of your chicken tractor and you could send that to us at farmingoutsidethebox at gmail.com. So I'll go ahead and show you a couple of our chicken tractors now. Here's one of our chicken tractors, and not all of them are, are completely finished. This one needs some wheels, and it needs a paint job. Uh, you can see that it resides or, or sits close on the ground. You know, if the, we, if the wheels were under it, then it would be off the ground a little bit. Uh, but because it doesn't have wheels, you can see I don't move it as, as frequently as I should. And then it gets wore out. Even though uh, this actually happens to have a duck in it, we have had uh, hens hatch out chicks. It works really good for that. And so even though the duck free ranges, it still kind of gets worn out. So definitely get you some wheels and put on it. Um, the box is basically where they go at night. And you'll be able to see here a door right there. That door just slides shut. So if you want to lock them up extra special at night, you can do that. Uh, we're having a photo bomb by the goat there. And then we have a door up front here that just hinges open. Easy to let them in and out. I also have a hook on that door because lots of critters can open things uh, in weird ways. So you want to lock them up at night. But it works really well. And then also around the back is another door. And you can use this door to... Uh, both. There's two doors right there split down the middle. And you can use those doors to clean out the, uh, the chips every so often to keep it clean in there. So this one works really good, especially if you're going to hatch out chicks. And if it had wheels, it would be super awesome. Okay, so here's another one of our designs. We've got the nesting box on the top. We've got the little ramp that leads from the bottom up into the bottom of it. You see we have the wheels at the back. We don't have any wheels at the front. It works okay. I'd probably put four on there if I did it again or I could, might add them eventually. kind of works like a big giant wheelbarrow. Um, this one is nice for training young chicks to go up to roost. Can't fit a whole lot of birds in it, but it, it does okay. All of the chicken coops I've showed you so far, the chicken tractors, are made out of 2 by 3s And I try to make them 8 foot long so I don't have to make any cuts. And then um, 2 foot tall because that's as tall as the uh, some of the poultry netting the wire is. So that works out good. And this one does alright. It, it uh, didn't turn out perfect, but it does alright. I've got the latches here on the back. I've got double doors. And it's not as easy to clean out though. So that's why I don't like this one as much. So this is my least favorite one, and it's still in production. I decided to see what I could make it out of, the cheapest thing I could make it out of. Um, and this time I just went with little one by twos. I was trying to figure out, you know, what's the least amount of wood I could use. And one by twos is not it. I'd, I'd stick with two by threes the whole time. Again, you've got the box on the top, except this time you got a door right there. Works great if you have older birds that already know how to go to roost. And then they also have like a little roosting pole and they can go up high. And um, it works good for getting uh, eggs out the back. And then this time I put a little trap door there in the back where you can get the eggs out. And it works, uh, works well for cleaning it out. And then just because I had it, this was from an old uh, parrot bird cage. And I used that in there. And it worked fine. And then the same with the, the front. That's the opening for the front of the parrot bird cage. So... Any old thing that'll do, but it does all right, but it's not the greatest. All right, this is the best one that we have, and it's by far the largest. Built out of two by fours, a little bit too heavy. It could be uh, smaller. I'd go with two by threes, four wheels, but it's hard to turn. I'd put some type of turn uh, wheel on the front up there if I could. The the back here where the door is is perfect height for a wheelbarrow. You scrape the the chips right in the wheelbarrow, works out great. Super heavy duty, really strong. Uh, the wind blows it around up here. It actually rolled into the side of this shed before and it withheld. So really good, heavy, durable thing. Uh, chicken tractor. Rolls along fairly easy. My daughter can actually push it on level ground. But, um, you know, you could always make it a little bit better. 
and then there's the door on the side over there and then the birds come in and then they go up through this little door right here and go to roost inside so it works out pretty good also on this side I actually have some solar powered yard lights that I put here in this board and um, that works out pretty good I think it helps keep predators away um, we haven't ever we've never lost a chicken in one of our chicken tractors before so um, they do they do seem to work pretty well that way and the slant on the roof is pretty steep one of these days I'm actually going to put me something down here to catch some rainwater and then the horses actually lean up against it and scratch on it that's why some of that wear and tear is there but when you got a thousand pounds leaning on it I'm pretty happy that it withstood what it could so again this one works pretty good four foot wide by eight foot long and then uh, about six foot tall and then the box it'll hold about 15 or 20 chickens thanks for watching another short clip of farming outside the box